you know, a special girl. Look, I'm saying, I'm not one of those guys who says like, all women are the same, okay? There are some very high quality women out there and there are some women you definitely should not be in a relationship with. And high quality women do not come along all the time, okay? It might take you six months, a year, two years to find someone who you feel like um, you could commit to, okay? And look, I'm not selling commitment or not selling commitments. If you wanna see my views, I did how to develop your dating game plan where I did the pros and cons of monogamy. Um, I'm not one of these guys who's dogmatic about things. I'm about you know, putting you in the right position, the right type of relationships for where you are in your life, okay? Um, but the truth is, you know, a lot of guys have that, that, that phrase, not all women are like that, um, to, 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 you know, in these, in these dating forums to sort of like put a guy down. But here's the reality. There's a massive, massive difference between a high quality woman and, and then um, a woman you shouldn't date. Okay, that applies to men too. I'm not throwing women under the bus. That applies to all humans. Um, so, you know, you might feel like you want to hang on to someone because they're special. Okay, and they might be special, but you know, you by by doing that, by being needy, um, that hurts your chances of holding on to that person. Okay. So you could recognize that like, look, this is a special person, but let's take soulmate out of the picture. Okay, soulmate's gonna hurt you. The one's gonna hurt you. Um, at the end of the day, if everyone lived to 2000, there'd be like maybe one out of six billion relationships that lasted that long, okay? Um, nothing lasts forever. You know, it's like, you might be with that person to die, you might not but we don't know with 100% certainty, okay? And that could be a high quality person, but you need to know that like, you'll be able to attract another high quality person. It just might take six months or a year, okay? So that will stop you, that will help stop you from like clinging on to that person like it's your last hope. Because anytime that you think that that's your last hope for like a happy relationship, you're gonna lose that girl, okay? I'm not saying don't invest, don't um, double down on someone who's special, don't, you know, like, take really good care and, and put a lot of effort in. But I'm, I'm saying, like, you know, know that if you can attract one high quality woman, you can attract another one. Um, and that, that should help you not, not be needy with that particular person. Okay, number six, lay off those mood altering drugs. Chances are when you're sending out needy texts or whatever, it's on, you're, you're drunk, you're high, um, maybe you're on fan of it. I've sent some dumb text out in the last three years, almost always when I was coming down off fan of it. Um, by the way, I don't recommend that, you, that, that drug anymore unless it's just once a week and you are definitely not an addictive type and, and you have, um, the discipline to stick to it, okay? In a, in, chances are when you're in an altered state, the probability of you doing something dumb, sending some dumb text to an ex-girlfriend goes up like three times. If, you are, if you're looking back right now and if you're nodding your head, you're like, well, you know, maybe we should cut out or cut down on those mood altering substances, at least till you're through whatever it is that you're going through. Um, that's gonna be a big move for you because those substances tend to make amplify, you know, emotions. And and if you're going through some bad emotions, you know, sometimes it's gonna be a bad situation when you're doing something stupid and looking at your phone the next morning like, oh, why did I text her? It's always drama. Um, and seven, last point, is own your own narrative. I've had, a, you know, a lot of guys message me like, you know, well, what do I say to this girl? Well, you know, what do I say to this woman? Like, does this look needy? And my response is, is just say it anyways, because at the end of the day, it's like a lot of the time, this isn't even a girl who's met up with a guy, right? So why are we worried? Why are we so worried about what she's going to think? By owning your own narrative, like know that you're not needy, like know that within yourself, um, because that allows you, you know, there's a fine sort of a fine line between being sincere and then still like having to use game. I wish the world was different. I wish, you know, we could be a lot more sincere. I feel like I'm a lot more sincere and open than a lot of people. 
Um, but sometimes you do have to hold that back a little bit. And there's kind of a fine line between, you know, once you start to see a girl and when to be sincere. I probably err on the side of aggression. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sincere if I like a girl. I feel like I'm high, high value enough and I know where that line is to, to really say it. Um, and, and I encourage sincerity in relationships with, with, the, right, with the right woman. Um, but when you're sort of messaging girls before you've seen, you know, before you met up and maybe you're on Tinder, or you're, you're sending out a message to a few women on looking to meet up or whatever. And, um, you know, some of you guys might be, might be sending out messages every day to try and find someone who's going to go out with you that night. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like if some girl thinks you're needy, that that's, like that's that has nothing to do with your narrative right like you have to own your own narrative um especially if like that girl hasn't met up with you like who cares you know what i mean it's the same thing with with a client like you know if you're calling you're making 100 cold calls a day and and some secretary thinks you called too much you know who cares right you're trying to do what's best for your family just like you're trying to like meet up with a girl there's nothing wrong with that um but you own your own narrative like you know inherently like at your core that you're not needy right no one no one can can make you feel anything right so some girl sends you something some message about it and it's like you just block her or delete her information right you're not worried about it because you're secure within yourself um so you're able to be sincere you're able to message exactly when you get a text from her without you know waiting the obligatory two hours because she's waiting two hours to respond to you and all that bullshit right you can speak from the heart and and you know if she was if she's you know giving you shit for it she then then like she's not the one for like a higher level relationship um so when you own your own narrative you're able to to be much more sincere because you know, like at your core, that you're not you're not needy, um, if that makes any sense. And um, that's it.